about. Okay. Um, to the Leader of the House. Uh, Mr President, I move that member statements be now taken. Uh, member statements. Um, are there any member statements? Uh, the Honourable Don't Lynn McLaren. Special adjournment first. Well, that's come. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise tonight to express my support for marriage equality and to urge all Western Australians to call upon the Parliament of the Commonwealth of Australia to amend the Commonwealth Marriage Act 1961 to provide for that marriage equality. It's an important time to do that because this weekend the ALP National Conference will be considering changing their policy to end discrimination in marriage. The state parliaments of Tasmania and the ACT have already supported this. And we would hope that the West Australian Parliament had it, the opportunity to debate this motion would also support it. I know that the South Australian Parliament and the Victorian Parliaments come the new year will be debating this very motion. But at this stage, on behalf of the Greens, I felt it was important to put on the record our support for marriage equality. The time is certainly now. I'm only going to take three minutes to explain how, how important this is. Many couples are asking for it, their mums and dads, brothers and sisters, daughters and sons, cousins, nephews, nieces, aunts, friends, work colleagues, and teammates. They've all supported the campaigns for marriage equality. In fact, today we learned that 130,000 Australians have signed the Get Up petition to send a message to the ALP conference. This weekend will be a major milestone, and I hope that our colleagues here in Western Australia who will be going across to the ALP conference take the message that Western Australians do want marriage equality to be adopted by that party. It's going to be a hot topic, and if the media predictions are true, it's the, the motion to endorse same-sex marriage will be supported. With the support of the ALP members in the House of Representatives and the Senate, the Greens' motion to remove discrimination in marriage will be supported in the Commonwealth. And that's a very exciting time. Last night, I want to tell you that the Queensland Parliament uh, voted to adopt civil unions for same-sex couples. Now, civil unions have been adopted in other jurisdictions around Australia, though Western Australia has not yet done that. New South Wales, ACT, Tasmania, and Victoria have all adopted civil union reforms for same-sex couples. Since 2001, 10 countries have allowed same-sex couples to marry nationwide. And you know who they are? Argentina, Belgium, Canada, Iceland, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Spain, South Africa, and Sweden. Same-sex marriages are also performed and recognized in Mexico City and in the U.S. states of Connecticut, Iowa, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York. Most obviously, this year when they did that, it was a very exciting moment for us all. And Vermont, which is where uh, my own grandparents come from. It's high time that Australia join these other civilized states and nations in rejecting prejudice and embracing marriage equality. Opponents have argued that allowing same-sex marriage will cause potential damage to children and to the sacred institution of marriage. However, neither of those claims are borne out by the evidence. American and Australian psychological associations agree that the children raised by same-sex couples are just as well adjusted, perhaps even better adjusted than their peers. In fact, the American Association went further, saying that if children of same-sex couples experience any harm, it's due to the fact that their parents can't marry. Meanwhile, despite all the doom-mongering to the contrary, studies in North America and Europe have also found that allowing same-sex couples to marry actually strengthens the institution of marriage rather than redefining it or weakening it. The leaders of both the AOP and the federal opposition are out of state with most out, or out of step with most Australians on this. They should listen to what the surveys say the voters want. Someday soon, I hope we will look back on this whole same-sex marriage debate and wonder what all the fuss was about. We'll wonder how such inequitable and prejudicial laws could prevent someone from marrying the person they love and how we could have allowed them to persist for so long. <laughs>